Hi everyone. And today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Active Directory one more time. In the first video you saw how we installed it. Now there's a one thing that we get during the installation. Sometimes the installation fail. And how we can deal with it, I'm going to just let, let you know in the later part of this video. Firstly, I'm going to just go through the installation process. As you, as you must have seen in the first part of the video for installation. Just going through a normal procedure for installing the Active Directories and see how this error occurs. Just going on the steps, clicking on install. And I'm just gonna be skipping all this all these steps because it's gonna take some time and just to avoid the time wastage. I'm gonna be just skipping up. So here as you can see here, the installation has failed. And the server needs to be restarted. There's no error here. Now, as you can close, as you close this window down, it will, the server will take a restart. Will ask you to restart, and I'm gonna just restart in order to take back all the changes, to undo all the changes which were made during the installation. Okay, so after the restart, we're gonna just log back again through the administrator. Alright, so here we are with the administrator and there are a few changes that I want you to make to your system. Firstly, look for all the firewalls if they are enabled on your system. Because these errors can be because of the firewalls which are stopping some of the downloads to be happening on your system or some of the services to be installed. So i am just logged into the server manager and go into a configuration of Windows firewall and as you can see all my profile firewalls are off and you can in case they are on you can turn them off by these steps domain profile private profile public profile just make sure all the firewalls are off so this these are the changes on the system plus after closing this down one more thing that you gotta look into is your browser for internet I have my default browser as in the explorer just just open it up and go to tools in the options on the security data apps on the internet zone to the custom level just follow these steps here uh, I'm gonna try to find a future feature called download on this download I'm, I'm gonna be enabling the automatic prompting for file downloads and file download plus I'll search for scripting here under the scripting for active scripting, you can enable that active scripting thing. Apply those changes by making clicking on apply and okay. And is that it? That's these all changes you gotta make on the system. And I'll just start with the normal procedure for installing it one more time. Going to the same steps. So here you can see, after making all these changes, the installation has succeeded on the system. Just one small warning, which not really a big issue, is of the automatic updating is not enabled on the system. So if you just close down a window, and I'll let you know how, how you can enable the automatic updating on your system. Meanwhile, before you do that, um, just one more thing to be kept in mind is, in case you have any of those f uh, antiviruses installed in your system, make sure the firewall has been turned off to them also. Now, for enabling automatic updates, you can go to control panels and search for window updates. Here we go. Clicking on it, and here's a feature for turning on the automatic updates. It will probably ask for a restart, and you're done. Get on with it. So these are all changes you gotta make and this is how it's done. Thanks for watching.